Hey folks, it's John. Super excited to be here to talk to you about this tank right here. It's been a long time coming. It's something that I've wanted for a very long time and we finally got it in here. It's finally ready, but not quite. We'll get into that in a minute. First, I want to talk about the process of getting this tank. For you, it's going to be significantly easier than it was for me because I am actually a retailer for this company. So if you want to get a tank like this, all you got to do is email me at kgtropicals at gmail.com and I'll walk you through the whole process. We'll work together and get you exactly what you want. But for me, it was a little bit different because I had to talk to my contacts up there and we went back and forth for a while. I said to them, hey, this is what I want. I want something big. I want to make a statement. I want that Arowana and Stingray tank. And we talked back and forth for a couple of weeks and they said, hey, we have this one tank. We have a tank that we used at the Aquatic Experience back in 2018. It's just kind of sitting in our warehouse. It might be perfect for you. And when they told me about what it was, eight feet long, three feet deep and two feet tall, I said, you know what? That is perfect. Ultimately, I wanted to go for a 10 foot tank, but that's okay. This is fine. Eight feet is perfectly fine for what I want to do. And yes, there's cats in this room, so. I don't know what you want me to do about that. But anyway, we settled on that tank. I was super excited about it. We worked out a deal and it was all set in stone. And so they sent me the tank. I got it about two weeks ago. I'm just being honest with you here. I'm running late on doing these videos, but about two weeks ago, we received it. And I wanna show you the whole thing about getting the tank, getting it here because it was an adventure. I yeah, can't even why'd you, why'd you read it? You I didn't read it. I seen, still oh see my God. I seen spoiler alert. That, that was spoiler alert. I was like, I, I, gotta, block, I gotta delete him. That was any, a dick move. Any true Stranger Things fan watched it the first day. That was a dick move. That, that was two I'm days busy. after it went up. Just waiting for you, CJ. On our way to get the fish tank, we're following John and hopefully this goes well because there are a few things that are uh, kind of unexpected, like, well, we don't have the handle things now, but uh, I think we'll be able to do it. We got some strong guys. Say hi, David. All right. guys Hello. you ready ready to get a fish tank yeah, yeah. CJ ah don't look at me I got my head shaved oh my I don't gosh I know why we had to come I'm sure there are people here that are gonna load it up on the truck anyway we're here to get a fish tank yeah we are you think it's gonna be okay I mean it's a dog you all right So as we're looking at footage of us going to pick up this tank, I wanted to explain a little bit about why I had to go pick it up because custom aquariums will actually send the tank directly to you if it's a certain size, or should I say if it's under 
a certain size, and that size needs to be under eight feet in length because they can't fit a tank that's longer than eight feet on a lift gate. So they can't bring it out of the truck to give it to you at your front door. So when you have a tank that's eight feet or larger, you actually have to go and pick it up at the closest terminal to you. And for us, that was in Stafford, Virginia, which is the next town over. It was about a 45 minute drive, but we rallied up some troops on a Friday afternoon and we headed out there to pick it up and that's when the real fun began. I think we're going to need more people for this tank. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what do you think about the tank? I'm not sure, but I think we're going to need more people for this tank. Yeah. David, you, you think we need more people too, huh? Yeah. CJ, what do you think? I'm going on vacation. Right? So, what do I think about this tank? They're going to need more people to get this tank. For sure.
Okay, so that was much more of an adventure than I thought it was going to be. Uh, sweating like a pig. The tank is, the whole thing is way bigger than I thought. Uh, but we did exactly what I said. Put the stand in the van. We got the tank in the truck. And now is the uh, scary part. Yeah, we get to drive home. Yeah, driving home. So, cross your fingers. Once we got back to the house, we were pretty much spent, but my nephew and I were able to get the stand into the garage, just the two of us. It wasn't really wasn't that big of a deal, but then I spent a little bit of time taking the rest of the crate apart, which is what you see here. But unfortunately, I lost all of my help. Everybody had other stuff to do, so I basically just took everything apart and created a huge wood pile and just waited till the next day to get this thing in the garage. I barely got any sleep because I was so worried of how am I going to do it? How is it going to go? Is it is it going to be easy? Is it going to be difficult? Am I going to have anybody to help me? I don't know. It was terrible. But once we got to the next day, it turned out to be much easier than I thought. The next day, Sam and his friends showed up. Two strong dudes showed up to help out. Plus, Kenzie's boyfriend was there. We had plenty of people to do this, but the biggest surprise, you can see it right there. When we backed the truck up to the garage and then put the stand right up against it, they lined up perfectly. And once Sam and I got in the truck, it was literally the exact same height. We just slid the tank right off the truck, right onto the stand, and the rest was smooth sailing. This was a relief and a huge shock that it even worked out that way, that it was that easy. Now, once we got the tank onto the stand, we did have another bit of an issue, and that is that we needed to get the pad underneath the tank. Uh, the, the pad didn't want to slide with the tank, so what we ended up doing was having everybody pick up on one end, we put a two by four under it so that we could work with it, put the pad underneath it, and we just kind of went back and forth between the sides, picking it up, putting the two by four under, we got the pad situated and everything worked out good. And then everybody helped just slide it back into the corner and everything was all set. And it was a huge relief and I could not be happier that the people showed up to help out because I was afraid that thing was gonna sit in the back of my truck for a month. So now you see the tank, it is here, it is in place in the garage, and you've probably seen it on a couple of live streams. My ultimate goal was to have this tank set up and running before I did this video. 
But once I got working on it, I realized that was gonna make for a really long video because the process of picking this tank up was quite an adventure. So I'm glad you were able to go along for the ride with me. I hope you enjoyed that. I didn't wanna make this too terribly long, so I've decided to break it up and do the setup of the tank in the next video. So in the next vlog or whatever we're calling these, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna call them vlogs anymore. Just, they're just videos. Who cares what they're called? But I did run into a snag, and this is another reason why I'm separating this into two videos. When I put in the order for this tank, I actually made a mistake. And there were some things that I did not order that when I, I didn't realize that I didn't order these things until I had it here and I was trying to set it up and I said, hey, wait, where's the pumps? Where's the lids? So anyway, I got back on the horn with Custom Aquariums. I ordered up those parts. They are here now. So I'm gonna get this thing running and we're gonna show that to you in next week's video. So uh, probably gonna have a lot of fun with that one too. This one was a lot of fun, but we got so much stuff going on out here in the fish room. So many more projects to show you. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you're gonna wanna do that because we're gonna be doing so many things and having so much fun, you're not gonna wanna miss it. With this tank in particular, when it's, go when it's going and it has the fish in it, it's gonna be magnificent. It's the only word I can use to describe it. You are absolutely not gonna wanna miss that. So consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't. Maybe even consider becoming a channel member you get to even see more behind the scenes things. So yeah, let's have some fun together. Subscribe, become a part of the team. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Look forward to talking to you again next week where we talk about setting this bad boy up.